Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you my newest build, Dovington. It's just going to be a quick property and barn tour and I'm going to be showing you the entire property. So get ready to sit back, relax, and look at some Minecraft builds. Along with this, I usually do a cinematic portion at the end, but since not a lot of people like watching both, I'm just going to mix them both together so you guys can see the build cinematic wise and while I'm touring it, this will just kind of be like slapped over the video so you guys can see it in between. I'm really excited for you guys to have access access to this barn. As always, Ko-Fi members will have a little discount off of every single build I put up on my Ko-Fi. Let's get right into the video. If I had some time, I'd be biting it well. But my house is on fire. There's no one left to tell. Just take what is given. The doors have been sealed. Just breathe in the poison and hope God is real. I'll pick you violent flowers. If I get there faster than you I'll pick you violet flowers if I get there faster than you So let's start from the very beginning. You can see here this is the entirety of the property. It is a lot of blocks, it is a lot of space for you to enjoy with friends or by yourself or even to add on to. And I also added the option for you to expand outside of the property. So let's say you maybe want to connect this to your property or your world. There's a pathway that stops right here at the entrance as always. I try not to expand out further than the property line because I want you guys to be able to do that yourself. The gates were pretty quickly built so the design is pretty simple but they do go alongside the fence and they spread around most of the property. I did put a poll up on YouTube and you guys voted that the gates or the fences should surround the entire property and the reason I kind of picked half and half is because I didn't want to close off the whole entire property. So over here you kind of have room to expand if you want. Over here you can take these away and expand and make it more boxy. It's up to you. I kind of just surrounded it as much as possible. Um, I probably could have done a little bit more but honestly I wanted to leave you guys some space to expand if you'd like. So when you go into the entrance, you'll see that there are six horse statues. These were built by Riley, and they are surrounded by flowers for more of a flower slash plant bed. And on either side of the entrance is a stallion pasture and a mare's pasture. Custom-made CITs, which I'll explain in a moment, but those are very helpful for customizing your pastures. You can see mangoes in here, which is funny because mango is a mare. <laughs> I don't know why mangoes in the stallions faster. Don't ask me why. I'll probably end up taking all of my animals out before I give you guys the world, so don't worry about any of my animals being here. Dove is also in here in the correct pasture. The pastures are all made up with the troughs and the special uh, spigots that are on the posts. You can just like start by putting your horses in the pasture or you can redesign it how you want. There's already feeders and bales of hay just chilling, though some of it's already been eaten by the horses, so sorry about that. When you get to the actual entrance of the barn, there is two different little banners here. So you know the sunglass racks when you go to the gas station, you can kind of spin them around. I kind of wanted that vibe for the banners. So I made one with all four saying Dovington Equestrian Center. And I have one over here that says boarding and services, breeding and sales, competitions and shows, training and lessons. Also, if you're nervous about any of these paintings not loading or you wanting to put them in a different place, I will be adding a pictures file with the ability for you to use all of these assets within your world. So all of the things that I used for this property will be included in the map file. That way you guys can like use them in different places. Um, it should already be in the world, but in case you want to put it in another world or in case it glitches or bugs, I mean... I just want them it to be there. This is what I mean is I have all of the assets kind of listed here in a file and I'll be zipping this file. Um, I mean, there's like a Dovington with a little snow thing. It's very hard to see. So that's why I made another one, but in case you wanted like different styles and everything. So once you get closer to the barn, you'll notice that there's a chest here and the chest is all of the CITs made for this barn. So if you didn't know, I got CITs made custom for this barn. There is a jump set, there is a cross tie, there is a stallion and a mare horseshoe sign, and there is both a brown and black girth to match swims horse tack sets. The reason I got custom CITs made is because I always feel like 
barns are missing something and with the cit items plus the paintings i felt like it pulled it all together and made this barn truly unique from the rest of my barns or the rest that i've personally seen and this is also decorated for christmas and it'll be released like if not on christmas right before christmas so I'm so sorry if I released it kind of late and the decorations are kind of like outdated. Feel free to take them down. There's not very many. If you head to the right, you will see that there is a little hallway as there is on each side of the barn. This one has a painting of Nuna's horse from my server. That's Chariot. And like I said, there's a cross tie along with a ring hitch. So it's realistic. It'll tie right to your horse and it's on either side on all four hallways. So you'll have different areas to cross tie your horse. So right here you can see there is a metal sign which goes with all of the other themes. This is stallions and geldings. You can always switch it up but that's just a stallions and gelding section. The theme is red and yellow. Over here is the equipment slash player storage area so all you do over here is just store your stuff. You can see right here there's right lockers, left lockers, there's cabinets which are functional, there's attack chest, and there's also a photo right there where here's the equipment area this is just where i shoved a bunch of random equipment because i didn't know what else to put there <laughs> like i said i hate blank spots why is this not here hello so there are 10 stalls five on each side on both the mare and stallion side this one says feed treats and goodies this is just the feed room and i left this one very basic just because i didn't really know what to do with the feed room i'm not super good with feed rooms but um, it has the feed schedule and it has different areas where you can store food the feed bins here cabinets and different shelves and stuff here is the expecting and recovery area now this used to be an arena in the middle of the barn but riley and i both decided that an arena in the middle of a barn seemed kind of tedious so we added the expecting and recovery riley thought it would be a good idea to have a full area a marin full area and these stalls are a little bit bigger than the regular stall and it allows your marin full to sit comfortably while they grow up or while the full grows up and the mother heals and everything and this is also a good area for sick horses or horses that are in a little bit of recovery it could also just be used as an extra stall as like a holding stall. This right here is just another painting. It's just supposed to be shelves and everything. Here is the office. Now this is a pretty big area. I tried to make it smaller, but it didn't really work out that way. In here is the pet area. This is where you can hold your pets while you are at the barn. I put a few CIT items, for example, the pet crate, which is part of Ghoul Crafts. And I have a cat in here, like I said, all of my animals will be removed so you guys don't have to deal with them. Here is kind of the most unique place, I would say. Um, it's very cluttered. It's meant to be like a neat cluttered, if you know what I mean. It's like a very simple cluttered place. There's a photo of a dog of a German Shepherd that I took on my server. Over here is the cork board. This is kind of just a design I made on Canva. I don't use a lot of Canva Pro assets. I do use Canva Pro, so I can tell you right now that everything I make on Canva can be done with the free items. So don't feel forced to get Canva Pro if you're looking to make designs like this. All of this stuff was made on Canva. This one, office and schedule. These cork boards, which have like actual writing on them. Like shed keys, please return when done. You can see I even put my Oasis Value Horse Rescue on there, the number, which is completely fake. Please don't call that number and expect for me to pick up. This is another feed room. Both of the feed rooms are across from each other, so you can find them pretty easily. And in here, I have a little note and the feed schedule. All of the stuff is basically the same. Added some grooming items and everything. Right here, something I added that's unique. This is the exercise schedule. This is kind of an idea that I added for you guys to have space to edit it yourself. So like I said, if you go onto Canva or any editor that allows you, like I think Pixar is also a good place, you can add transparent images and you can make things like this. The exercise schedules, the feed schedule. This is the mares and yearlings. Again, five stalls on each side. So 10 stalls in total. Um, going the wrong way this barn is too big i'm getting confused over here by the entrance that leads to the back by the lunging pens this is where the other areas start so right here is the tack area i have the two hanging girths this is just a tack storage area right here is the horse care area and this allows you to hitch up your horse again here's the ring hitch um, and the cross tie and this is where the actual grooming items are fun fact the grooming caddy it sits on your hand it looks like you're just carrying it isn't that so cute that's so precious i look like i'm carrying like a little flower basket it's so fun to me same with the brushes they look like they're placed in your hand naturally so when you hit and everything let me hit away from a block 
when you hit it looks like you're actually like moving your arm to groom the horse over here i just laid like all the grooming items out for you guys to use now these can actually come in different colors there's red black and pink so let me show you really quick that you can add these to your barn with any of these colors these three colors so you can see there's a pink curry comb and then we can do a black curry comb as well the reason that I picked red is because the theme was like red and yellow so I thought okay we'll just add the red part to that I will also be adding these as an individual CIT pack on my Ko-Fi for free so you guys won't have to buy this barn just to get the grooming items just give me a little bit of patience and I'll get them both uploaded so that you guys can enjoy it for free because they were meant for free full credits to moonflower for this entire cit pack that was custom made for this barn she did an amazing job as always and then over here to the left is the player equipment area again just a few storage items these chests and everything can be stored and over here's just a blank area i don't know i was gonna put like a trophy chest or something over there but i kind of left a lot of blank areas for you guys to fill in if you'd like so that was the barn a lot of space i know I really like the vibe of this place because every area is filled with like flowers or grass or trees. I didn't leave many blank areas at all on the property so you can kind of clear out where you want and add what you want. On either side of the barn is a covered arena. The reason that we have two is just because we wanted enough arena space for you to play all over the place and also it just looked way better. This one is workout and lessons. It has a lot of jumps built by me and Lipton in it and this allows you to hop around, work out, stuff like that, exercise the horse. Across from it is the horse trail. I was going to add cross country jumps on this but I decided against it just because I didn't really have many ideas for cross country. Maybe for a future video I'll do it but for this right now, not really, not really too worried about it. I'm going to fix this. I love fixing things while I talk. Um, I haven't done a full checkout of the property just yet after world editing it, so don't be too harsh on me, okay? I'm gonna be doing a full check on everything, making sure everything is correct and not scuffed and you guys don't have a half-done barn just by me accidentally world editing half of it away. Carpets are always kind of annoying when they world edit. For some reason, they just like disappear, like bro. This right in here is just like a hidden trail area. This is a good area for you to maybe add some pens, maybe add a few jumps, but it's a dead end. So it doesn't actually connect to anything except for the actual like trail in here. So you can find your way over to the official trail. I don't really know why I added that. I just felt like I wanted to add a, a bunch of dividing trees from the pasture in the other areas. And I was like, you know what? Why don't I just add a trail? Fun little random trails, you know? This was a highly requested item. And this is the hot walker. This right here allows your horses to be exercised without you really having to do anything. It automatically moves, but that's the IRL version. This one doesn't do anything. I hate to say it. It doesn't move. It's just more for decoration. I think I did a pretty good job on it. I've only ever seen one hot walker IRL, if even that. I don't even remember what it looked like really. I just found a Google image and said, yep, I can try to make that. You guys requested on multiple medias because I asked on multiple medias what you guys would want, but thank you for requesting that. It was very fun to build and I hope you guys enjoyed the decoration. At the corner of the property, or one of the corners, this is the cattle and animal barn. So this is just a copy and paste of one side of the barn, but it was cleaned up so it doesn't, you know, doesn't look too messy on the outside, doesn't look like it was completely disconnected from a barn. I actually recorded myself making this video, but my audio cut out for like the entirety of the video. I was very angry. I was very frustrated. Um, this is meant to have paintings here, but I haven't put them up just yet. I probably won't, but I just had new in on either side. And this is just like a storage area. I left a lot of this blank because you guys can put like cattle stuff there if you'd like. So like in the other barn, I kind of just took like half the barn off. So there's 10 stalls in total, five on each side, and they're all designed for cattle currently. Uh, uh th this Maisie, what did they do to Maisie? Maisie, what happened? Maisie, oh, you were tiny, tiny. You're like, you're not even a newborn. You're Benjamin buttoning it out here. Little Miss Benjamin Button. Negative 27,707 days old. Happy birthday, miss ma'am. I'm gonna leave her here just for funsies. You guys can enjoy that scientific miracle of a cow. And then on the other side of the cattle barn, there's just a grassy area and then a pasture. A lot of this is just free space for you to add whatever you want, but the pasture can just be used to store animals. Now on the back side of the property, we're passing the training and exercise or whatever i made that arena and back here is the workout slash hydrotherapy 
So the hydrotherapy, it was a very difficult build, so please don't judge me too harshly, but this just allows you to bring a horse in through here with a lead and then walk down here and the horse will follow you and swim. And then you kind of work it out that way. Hydrotherapy is an amazing way for horses who are injured, old, or just need a workout to swim and strengthen muscles without too much strain on them because swimming doesn't cause a ton of strain on muscles. Hydrotherapy is used not just for horses, but a lot of different animals and a lot of different people. Over here are two round pens for you to use for keeping animals in, exercising, lunging, whatever you like to do. Back over here is where it gets kind of like confusing um, or like iffy. There's no trees right here because I was planning on putting like an animal area here, like maybe a sheep pen or something. I decided against it because I like leaving open gaps for you guys, like I said, to make whatever you like. So that's there. Then right here is just a grassy open field. This can be used for more pasture space. This can be used for cross country. It can be used for whatever you'd like to add on to it, but I just wanted to add a grassy field. Now we're on the other side of the barn and the other side of the property. Over here is the bigger arena. This is the show jumping arena. There's no jumps in it, ironically, but I wanted to add a bigger outside arena for you to use whatever jumps or dressage or something. You can put like a little dressage arena inside that arena. A lot of arenas and arenas, I know. In here is the flats and this is for workout and lessons, but you can also put a dressage arena in there. You can see I did put like dressage-esque outlines at the top. I left this one empty again because I want you guys to be able to build your own jump. I don't know if I showed this one. This one is the other outdoor arena and this one is much smaller. You can see it's kind of used for warm up and flats, but honestly, mostly just warm up. I put the Official Dovington jump in here, just a single jump for you guys to use and ride around. This one is not enclosed by gates, so this is the side of the property or the corner of the property that doesn't have gates on it. Over here is another big pasture. This is probably good for mares and foals or for if you have a lot of horses. And then we have four individual pastures. The reason for individual pastures can differ from maybe your horse just likes to be, you know, pastured alone, whether it's aggressive or it just doesn't like a lot of horses. Maybe you're quarantining a horse and giving it more space, or maybe you just want to have your horse in a smaller pasture. It's meant for one horse, so I don't recommend putting two horses in there. And there's four of them. They're all the same. They're just copy and pasted with different designs put in them. Is that all? Did I do all of it? Am I, am I done? As always, please make sure to give credits to me if you use this build for anything, whether it's media. I do ask that you do not redistribute this property, so if it ends up on a website somewhere for free, then lawyers will be involved, so please don't do that. I've already had to deal with that before, and it's not only disrespectful, but it's very inconvenient for both parties involved. And thank you to those who support my channel, because when you purchase this property, you are supporting my channel in a lot of ways, and you're helping me continue making these properties. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Stay healthy and safe and hydrated, and I will see you in the next video or stream. If I had some time, I'd be biting it well. But my house is on fire. There's no one left to tell.